from the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi, I'm Bronte Coy. And I'm Andrew Bucklow. And this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 15th of March. We'll start at Victoria. A husband allegedly lit his home on fire in Melbourne's west yesterday while his wife was inside. At least one of the couple's six children was also home at the time. The wife is now fighting for her life in hospital. The husband is under police guard with non-life-threatening injuries. To the UK now and Julian Assange has been denied permission to appeal against a move to extradite him to the United States. The US wants to put the WikiLeaks founder on trial in connection with the publication of half a million secret military files. Assange could face up to 175 years in jail if found guilty in the US. Still overseas now and a female producer who works at Russia's main state-owned TV channel has been arrested after an extraordinary on-air protest. The woman ran on stage during one of Russia's most watched news programs programs, telling viewers not to believe propaganda and to stop the war in Ukraine. Российский премьер подчеркнул, надо усилить сотрудничество в рамках союзного государства, а на совещании в правительстве обсуждали, как сохранить доступность для границы. That's incredible footage there, and you can see that on news.com.au, the proper video of it too. Anyway, to sport, Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton is changing his name to honour his mum. The 37-year-old made the announcement during an on-stage interview in Dubai. I'm really proud of my family's name, Hamilton. Um, I'm, I'm actually, uh, none of you might know that my mum's name is Labalastir, and I'm just about to put that in my name. Um, because I want, I don't really fully understand the whole idea when people get married, then the, the, the woman loses her name. And my mum, I really want her name to continue on with the Hamilton name, so. Alrighty, to showbiz, country music legend Dolly Parton has shocked fans by publicly refusing one of music's greatest honours. Parton released a statement on social media today revealing that she will not accept her nomination into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She wrote, even though I'm extremely flattered to be nominated, I don't feel that I have earned the right. I disagree, Dolly. I think you have. I agree with Bronte. Oh, wow. That's a first. And finally, <laughs> Hamish Blake and Zoe Foster Blake have bought a holiday home on the New South Wales south coast. They've purchased a three-hectare property in Jamboree for $4.26 million. I wonder if that's because it's near Jamboree Recreation Park. Great spot. <laughs> anyway, the couple are currently based in Sydney where they live in an $8.9 million mansion in Vaucluse with their two children. Now, if you're a footy fan, make sure you enter news.com.au's AFL and NRL tipping comps with $5,000 up for grabs in each code. You can find out more at news.com.au forward slash win. That's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Get the latest from news.com.au.